So the last bot we played against was Nelson, and a lot of people recommended that I play Wally next. So here we are. Wally is one of the advanced bots, rated 1800. Now, before I recorded this video, I actually played a couple times against Wally. And to be completely honest with you, I didn't win a single game. I had several draws, and I think I even lost one. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. Um, Seems like Wally's particularly strong for 1800. Now, I did kind of let the game go into like rook end games. Pretty much every game, Wally just traded the pieces and we went into a rook end game and I just got outplayed. So maybe I'm just terrible at rook end games or Wally's really good at them. I'm not really sure. So, my strategy for this game is going to be to try to play very aggressive and attack him, which is kind of weird when you're playing against computers. That's normally not what you want to do. But I don't really know how they've programmed these bots to work so maybe this is going to be a good strategy let's see how it goes this game all right so i'm going to play d5 okay so what can i play that's aggressive against the queen's gambit um we'll try the album counter gambit i don't ever play this uh but i just want to open up the position create some open files and you know see what we can do here Okay, so there's the, the trap against uh, E3 where you play bishop before check. Talked about that recently. I don't really know the line here. I'm just going to focus on rapidly developing my pieces. So let's go knight c6. Okay, we could play bishop e7 and then bring the knight over. Or we could play f6 just to create another open file here. Turn it into some weird sort of gambit. Um, yeah, we'll do that. I really just want to create some open files. So let's go ahead and make that happen. And I want to castle kingside here and try to put some pressure on Wally. So where is this bishop going to go? That's my, that's my question right now. D6 looks like a good diagonal, but then this could become pretty weak. B4 pins the knight, but after a3, I don't really want to give it up that easily. And if I try to go back, there's the Noah's Ark trap, and I'm trapped. Uh, e7 breaks the pin here. So it seems like d6 or e7 probably make the most sense. Because, I mean, there is this move which kind of puts some pressure there. So maybe I'll just play bishop e7 to kind of prepare ahead of time for that. Let's do that. Okay, so uh, obviously there's en passant, which is one move that comes to mind as a way to keep it, the position open. I'm also looking if there's some sort of a tactic here, because I do have this discovered attack on the bishop. doesn't look like it works, because after the knight recaptures, then that bishop is uh, well defended, so I don't think I can do anything. So, I guess en passant has to be the move, otherwise... Th position is kind of getting closed off which is really not what I want now, this is a pass pawn but I think I'd rather just continue with the plan keep keep the position open so I'm gonna just take it and now I'm thinking of castling I can also bring this bishop out maybe I want to bring let's see where's his bishop gonna go can't go there so e2 most likely or this knight could move somewhere so where's my bishop going to go? Lots of options. Maybe I'll castle for now, see what he does, and then make the decision about the bishop. Because most likely I'm going to castle anyway. So I think it makes sense to hold off on the bishop one move and just go ahead and castle. Let's do that. Queen to b3. Okay, so discovered attack on my king. So this is a move uh, that will create check. It doesn't really do too much. It's not super scary, but I do need to pay attention. Also, this is under attack, which I may or may not worry about. Like, I may continue to be aggressive with a move like bishop f5. Let him take it and then play knight to b4, because then I'm going to have some big threats there. I'm trying to take advantage of the fact that Wally hasn't castled. And, and see how this, you know, play very aggressive strategy works. So that's definitely an idea. Is there anything else that looks good?
I don't I don't want to play passive and play with like rook b8 or b6. That just looks really bad. Um, if I go there, c5, I'm not worried. I can just slide the king over. Not a big deal. So bishop f5 looks pretty strong. Could go there. No, but yeah, I want to go to f5 because I really want to control the square and follow up with knight b4 to try to see what we can do here. So let's go for that. Okay, c5. I don't think I care. I'm going to go with my plan. Just slide the king over. Bishop c4. So we can take the bishop if we want. We can go here and trade it off. That actually... Because now knight b4 is no longer an option. Um, he just takes it. But this looks pretty good. Queen has to move. Then I take. And then maybe we could put the bishop here, which prevents white from castling. Now this way is an, an option, but that's pretty open. So knight a5 is an option. Do I have any other moves? I mean, I can do something like queen e8 to try to create a pin, but then he's just going to castle and maybe get to safety. So, yeah, taking off the bishop in a nice open position usually is a good thing. So let's let's go for that. Play knight five. And taking the bishop, I'm just scanning if there's some sort of crazy tactics. I don't think so. Let's take it. Okay. I kind of was expecting the knight to take, but I think this is good because now we can go there with tempo on the queen and, like I said before, prevent the castling. It seems good. I'm looking if there's any other moves that I would like to play, but I don't think so. I'm going to go forward with that. Oh, queen d4. See, this is what I didn't want. This is exactly what I didn't want. I didn't want to trade queens. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the good news is he can't castle that way, so we can still create some pressure here. Now, the bad news is there's castling long, which... Once queens are off, is, is totally fine. And I'm just going to be down a pawn. Uh, I should have considered that move. But can't go back now. Can I do some crazy sacrifice here? No. And then he can even just take that. That's a, that's a bad idea. Okay. <coughs> Wally. Wally is tough. I'm telling you, Wally is very tough for an 1800 bot. Ideally, I would like to let him trade and at least bring my rook over for free. It looks like this file is not... Not a lot is happening there at the moment. So maybe rook e8 is a good move. I have to watch out for a potential fork here, though. What else can I play? Knight to e4 is a move. Takes. That's not really great for me. I could also bring the bishop back. So that after the queen trade, my rook is more effective than probably castle's queen side. Or it could bring the bishop over this way. Then he's allowed to castle kingside. And I don't I mean I don't see anything if I just take bishop just takes, right? I don't really have anything there. Maybe rookie eight is, is good, but then what about knight g5? I do have to calculate this. Uh, but then we can take and we have a discovered attack here with check. So that's that's gonna turn out okay for me. So with that in mind, I think. This is a good move, I think. So we'll go here. Just trying to put the rook on an effective file. I'm expecting oh, knight e5. Okay. I feel like I can take, take, and take here. And they have this little pin. So maybe we just won back one of the pawns. Um, do we have anything else? What if I take this immediately? No, then this check happens. All right, so I think we got to trade and then take here. 
I don't see how that's a problem because it pins a knight, so we should be in good shape. Okay, so let's do that. Trade the queens. He's always happy when queens come off. Did you see that? Yeah, I bet he is. All right, and then we got this little tactic. Let me just make sure it works. The idea is takes, takes. So I'm just winning this pawn. Okay. Yeah, castle's queen side. See that? Mm hmm. Wait a second. Wait a sec. Is that a free bishop? Did he just blunder a piece? How come he didn't blunder any pieces in like the previous like four games that I played? I think I had like three draws and a loss. There was like no blunders like this. Am I missing something? Knight check does nothing. I just moved my king. Oh, my bishop's hanging. All right. I was like, there's no way. Yeah, there's no way. Okay. It makes more sense now. It makes more sense. So, do we have any tricks here? Like bishop e2, tax the rook. We continue to keep the threat here. If the rook moves, we take it. We also have the attack here, so it takes and we can win a piece. Okay. Uh, but the bishop, no, it's not a problem. I still take the rook. And I still have this threat. Am I missing something here? Bishop e2. It seems good. Bishop e2. If rook e1, I'm taking this. And then after takes, I'm taking this. Whenever the check gets thrown in, it doesn't really do anything because king g8 can take it. Okay. Only other move is here. Then I take... I mean, really, I could take either of those. I could take this or I could take the rook. And then after captures, I take the knight. I don't see why that doesn't work. So I'm going to play bishop e2. Okay. And I think both of these are okay moves. Let's see what's better. If I take here, the point is I have an attack on the bishop. And I have an attack on the rook. Let's say Wally moves the bishop back here. Ah, that's a way out of it, isn't it? Maybe. Then there's rook. Oh, then you can trade. Yeah, okay. So, I think I need to take this. And then I'm up the exchange. I still have the attack on the knight. If he takes my bishop, I take the knight. If he moves the knight, well, then I move my bishop. Unless it's here, in which case I move my king here. Still has the threat. All right, so that's the, that's the move. We'll take the rook and f4. Okay, so we're finally in a game where I'm up some material, which I think this is the first game. So that's that's good. Let's try not to blow this one. So we got to retreat the bishop. It looks like h5 is a good spot to control this. You could also come over here, because I don't really need to worry about that. I always have king g8. This actually gives me a little more options, I think. B3, bishop here, or I can even come back here. Hmm. Here, where am I going to go after here? That's the problem. I don't really, I mean, there's king g8. Bishop. All right, I don't think it really matters, so I'm just going to pick one. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll come over here on the queen side. I think, I think that's okay. So I'm up the exchange. Uh, we got the rook for the knight. That's good. Maybe b6. Put my pawns on dark squares to make this guy less effective. And then I have the, the light squared bishop to control the light squares. I like that. Uh, just checking here. I have king g8. Nothing to worry about. There is an attack, but it's well defended. So we'll play b6. Just, like I said, trying to make this bishop less effective. And my bishop will be nice and effective on the other color. So we can play c5. We can bring this rook over to the open file. That looks pretty good as well. I'm just kind of looking like places that my knight can go. I can't go there. I can't go there. I can't go there. So only move would be here. Uh, it attacks the pawn after something like g3. I can go knight to b4, which has some threat. So that's kind of a cool idea. Knight to d5. So rook here or knight to d5 is what I'm thinking. Let's check one more time. Knight d5. How does this get defended? Bishop, maybe g3 or bishop g3. Knight b4. 
I can sack here and then come in with the fork. Or I can just take that. Maybe I'll just hold... Oh, I can't play here. That's a, that's a blunder. Yeah. All right. That makes an easy decision. So we'll go with knight d5. Can't believe I almost considered that. Okay. Um, interesting move that I did not consider. Hmm. So we got to deal with the uh, bishop over here. So... I guess we just go back here. This should be five. I don't really see any other moves. I don't think this works. Try to get the knight. Because I'm actually going to lose two pieces. So let's go bishop b5. A3. So he's preventing that threat. But now, isn't this a tactic? Take the pawn. After rook captures, I take the knight. Take the pawn. Ah, knight f2, ch knight f7 check, king over, then takes my knight. So it doesn't work. Well, he's tricky. Gotta watch out for that. I don't like this move anymore. So maybe king g8, just to get rid of that whole idea. Yeah, let's try king g8. Because now there's, now there's no more shenanigans there. Okay, a3, a4. Just back, I guess. Any other ideas? Any other ideas? Not really. We'll go back. Okay, now, does this tactic work? Takes, takes, take the knight. Any reason it doesn't work? Can the knight do something? I don't think so. I think we can just do this and win another pawn. That's why I'm making a blunder here, but I don't see it, so we'll take that. Okay, and now we take the rook. I mean, sorry, the knight. Okay, so obviously I have to deal with this. We can put the rook on the second rank, which is usually good. I'm expecting probably knight to d4 then. And then what do we do then? Maybe rook here. I'm not sure where that knight's going to go. Alternatively, I can just come maybe back here and try to play something like this to force a trade. That's not a bad plan. But I also have rook f8, so I will go for the second rank. It's usually pretty good. And then maybe just slide out over to d2. Uh, hold on a second. At d2, king c1. All right, guys, I actually just had to take a little break. I needed to just step away for a minute, so kind of lost my train of thought. But I'm going to try to get back on track. So... I know we were ahead, we're up the exchange, so that's good. I think, yeah, I think I was considering moving here, but then king c1, and then it looks like my rook doesn't have a lot of places to go. That's right. So with that in mind, that's covered, that's covered, that's covered. Looks like these are my options. I have to be careful because both of these squares can be attacked by the bishop or the knight. E1, and then this rook can go here. That's an option. I would like to go here just so I have the option to like double up rooks. But then the question is, what about a move like knight c6? I can just go over. It's not a problem. Or here, I can still just go over. It's, it's not really a big deal. So that looks okay with the idea of maybe rook f7 next. So I'm going to go there. Okay, rook f3, interesting. Um, so let's maybe double up now, or do I just go try to trade? Actually, this looks pretty good because if the rook moves away, I can take the bishop, and trading is, is good since I'm ahead. I think getting that rook off will make my life easier. So rook here, only thing could be like knight here. But then I can double up and then I'm gonna have a nice little pin. So we'll go rook f7. 
just to try to simplify the game a little bit. Okay, so I should be able to just trade and then I can deal with that with rook c8. Alright, let's do that. I'll take that. And rook c8, are there any other moves? I could go check. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Hmm. The king can't go there because I have this little skewer, so it has to go there or there. And then I could play, I could just do something like c5. That actually looks a little better. Let's do that. Check. Okay, king goes there. We'll play c5 just so we don't lose this pawn. Now remember, in this endgame, I do not want to trade pawns because I'm going to need my pawns uh, to hopefully get a queen. I, I want to trade pieces, and I don't want to trade my pawns. So I'm going to try to be careful with how I push them forward so that I don't lose lose pawns. So we got to move the bishop somewhere. Maybe, maybe here? Okay, this almost looks trapped, which means I should be able to force a trade by playing h6, which is really good for me. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So trade pieces. Remember, when you're ahead, you want to trade pieces, not pawns, and that's what I'm doing here. Okay, now I just need to activate my king. Activate my king, and the rook should be much stronger than the bishop. Let's just keep going with the king. Looks like we finally got Wally. As long as I don't mess this up, we should be in good shape. So I could do something like a6 and b5, but again, I'm trading pawns there. So I don't really want to trade pawns. Let's let's just try to get the rook into a more active place. Um, I'm just going to go for this file right now and see how we can get it involved. That looks like a fork um, on those pawns. I'm just checking if there's any like blunders. I don't think so, so we'll go there. Capture. Okay, so that's under attack. Maybe I'll just push it forward. One or two squares. I'll just go for one for right now, just so I don't have to worry about it getting attacked again. It's on a light square. And how's he going to defend that pawn? I don't really see any options. So we'll go there. I feel like Wally's not playing very strong this game. Like, the last couple games... He was like crushing me. It's it's weird. It's really weird. This game he's like just giving me pawns and stuff. I don't know if I'm just playing better or what. I'm gonna just push them forward. Now I have plenty of, of pawns. I can just wee 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 all the way home. If you guys have seen my video. Alright, I'm gonna defend that. I'm going to Come down here, I guess. Only really place I can go. Um, I'll go here. Putting my pawns on on light squares. I'll go here. Try to attack this. Okay, we can take that. Looks like he might get in there, but if he does, I'm also going to get this pawn, so I'm okay with that. Okay. Oh, I didn't actually see that, but it's fine have plenty of pawns now I can just go get a queen okay only spot would be here and I can just take it so now I'm in now I'm good we're good now so I guess the way you beat Wally is play aggressive early on and look for when he makes mistakes and, and capitalize on the material advantage I don't, I don't know like it feels like a different bot than when I played before I'm telling you he was like crushing me so not crushing me, I mean, I was getting draws, but still, like, it was really strong before, and now it's, like, not that great, so I don't know. But I will tell you before, is that a stalemate trap? No, there's a move. I see the move for the king, so I'm, I'm good. Actually, this was a spot, too. Um, before, I was playing, like, very passive, and so maybe it's something about that. I don't know. It seems like when you play aggressive, you have better chances, so... Uh, that would be my advice if you're playing Wally. Play aggressive. Look for the uh, the moment in the middle game where he kind of blunders some material. Take advantage of it and just play very carefully uh, at the end, end of the game. And So anyway, there you go. That's how you beat Wally. Thanks for the suggestions. If you want to see another bot, let me know. 
As always, thanks for watching. Stay sharp. Play smart. Take care.